So welcome back everyone, and before we get going, if you've missed out on the latest review of the Ergo Chair 2 that I'm using right now, then hit the card in the top right hand corner and see just why it cancelled out my gaming chair. Now let's get on to the Ryzen news. Now we are just two weeks away from the official launch of AMD's highly anticipated family of Ryzen 3000 series CPUs, and thanks to our beloved leakers, however, we will not have to be waiting that long to learn a little bit more about how fast these chips really are. The latest leaks come from an eagle-eyed enthusiast who spotted AMD's upcoming Ryzen 7 3800X in Geekbench's database and simply could not contain his excitement to share the newly discovered gem. So without further ado, let's get to prospecting. The Ryzen 7 3800X delivers a multi-core score of just over 34,000 points and a single score of just over 5,400 points in Geekbench 4. Now the CPU is paired with the Prototype X470 chipset motherboard and entry-level DDR4, well 16 gigabytes of that, with modest speeds. Despite being hamstrung by lackluster memory, the 3800X puts up quite an impressive showing. To put these figures into context, Intel's similarly priced Core i7-9700K scores 28,400 points and the flagship i9-9900K delivers no more than 31,500 points in the same test. But thanks to a very aggressive boost clocks, the Intel chip can manage to claw back some ground and maintain a roughly 10% advantage in single-threaded performance in the same test against AMD's newcomer. Well, some things clock speed does benefit greater than just raw IPC improvement. At $399, the Ryzen 7 3800X is set to compete against the Intel Core i7-9700K, which currently sells for just over $400 at most e-tailers and retailers alike. Although, according to recent news, Intel could be in the works of preparing sweeping price cuts of somewhere upwards to 15% across its 9000 series lineup including the i9-9900K, the i7-9700K, the i5-9600K, and maybe the 9400F. It would be very interesting to see if these new price cuts are going to be enough to sway some potential Ryzen 3000 series buyers to consider Intel. If you'd like to hear more on that topic, we've definitely got you covered up there and hit the card in the right hand corner of the screen. In the meantime, stay tuned for more juicy details and leaks coming in the coming days. So here's a question that I have for you guys today. If you were planning to upgrade to one of the new 8 core or even 6 core Ryzen 3000 series chips and don't have a current Ryzen 3000 series ready motherboard per se, would you be more inclined to go for a B450 or an X470 or are you going to go all in and spring for an X570 board? I'd definitely love to hear your feedback on that one down in the comment section below. Now this has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV. Make sure that you're subscribed and hit that notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.